Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to install Windows IoT Core on your Raspberry Pi 2 or your Raspberry Pi 3. Before we get started, you need to know that Windows IoT Core is not a Windows operating system like on your desktop or your laptop. It does not have a browser built in. It does not have games built in. Windows IoT Core is more for development. You can use Windows IoT Core to control your projects like robots, drones, actuators, weather stations, tons and tons of different projects. You can run LEDs off the GPIO pins and all, all kinds of projects that require coding. So if you are expecting to run Windows 10 on your Raspberry Pi, it will not happen. It's not going to happen. I don't see it happening in the future. Windows IoT Core is for development. With that out of the way, let's get started. This is very, very simple. I have my 16 gigabyte SD card inserted into my PC now. That's what I'm going to flash my Windows IoT Core image to. We'll open up a browser. If you're just flashing to the Raspberry Pi 2 and you don't own a Raspberry Pi 3, you can actually download the one directly from raspberrypi.org. We'll go down, Windows IoT Core and you'll download the IoT Core dashboard. If you download this dashboard here, you cannot flash it to the Raspberry Pi 3. We need a development build of the Core dashboard. So if you're just with the Pi 2, you can download this version. All these links will be in the description for you guys, so don't worry. If you wanna do a Raspberry Pi 3, you will need to sign up for a Windows IoT account. Now it's free, you need a Microsoft email in order to sign up. It's free for everybody to do, and you can get started now. I will leave this link here if you're not already signed up. If you are signed up, we need to go to this page. Link is in the description. We need to get the Windows 10 IoT Core Insider Preview Build. Click on this. We're gonna sign in. Now, like I said, you need to be an IoT Core Insider. I'm not sure what it's called, but the link is in the description. Click the sign in button here. It will redirect us to this page. Now from here, we can select the edition we want to download. I want to download the latest build. Now these are previews, so they may not be stable. From what I've seen, it works pretty well. This is build 14376 as of making this video. Confirm. Choose your device, Raspberry Pi. Confirm. And we can download now. This is 650 megabytes, and this contains our Windows IoT Core dashboard that we need to install on our Windows 10 machine. I've already downloaded it, and I've placed it on my desktop. So I'll minimize all of these windows here. We'll just double click and it should open up. We need to install Windows 10 IoT Core for RPi2. Now even though this says RPi2, this has the version for the Raspberry Pi 3 with built-in Bluetooth and built-in Wi-Fi. So click on this. It will ask us to install just go through the steps. Mine's already installed, so I'm just going to cancel. But it's very simple. You don't have to sign into anything. Just install it like a regular application. I'm going to launch the Insider Preview Dashboard here. Run. All right, so this is the IoT Dashboard. This is the preview build of the dashboard with the built-in Raspberry Pi 3 support. Set up a new device. This might take a second to populate. There we are. We're going to set up the Raspberry Pi 3. If you want to set up the Raspberry Pi 2, you can do that from here also. You just choose Raspberry Pi 2. Make sure you have your correct drive chosen for your SD card. Accept the software license terms. Download and install. It will automatically download it and flash it to your SD card. Very easy. But for this one, we want to do the Raspberry Pi 3. So we'll go to Raspberry Pi 3. And as you see, we don't have anything listed here. 
We don't have the option to download and install. When we downloaded the IoT dashboard preview, it also downloaded the image we need. From the device type, go to Custom, Browse. Now we need to locate our flash.ffu, local disk, program files x86, Microsoft IoT, FFU, no, FFU. Double click. Now we need to click on the Raspberry Pi 2 folder here. This image works with the Raspberry Pi 3. That's what we are flashing it to now. This has built-in support for the onboard Bluetooth and the onboard Wi-Fi that comes on the Raspberry Pi 3. Open the Raspberry Pi 2 folder, flash.ffu, accept software license terms. You need to make sure this is checked. And be safe and make sure this is your SD card. Mine is a 16 gigabyte SD card and it's in drive letter E. You need to make sure you are flashing to your SD card, not a USB drive or a hard drive. Click install, continue. If you don't want to back up the card that you have, if you've already had something installed on it, or this will only back up IoT stuff, but this is a fresh card, so I'm just gonna click continue. Yes. It will apply the image and it could take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your SD card. I'm gonna fast forward this until we're done. When this hits 100%, it will automatically close the command window. It has finished installing to our SD card. We can actually navigate to our SD card if you'd like. The SD card is now named EFIESP. And inside of the SD card, is Windows IoT Core, everything we need to get running. All we need to do now is take our SD card from our laptop or our PC, place it into our Raspberry Pi, connect a keyboard and the power, and we're running Windows IoT Core. We're gonna go through a quick setup. We'll just set up Wi-Fi, and I'll show you a couple little features built into Windows IoT Core. We're moving to the Raspberry Pi now. When your Raspberry Pi 3 boots, it looks like we're booting up Windows 10 but it's far from Windows 10. Like I said, this is the IoT build. This is not a full-fledged operating system. Wait for it, it will finish. It could take a little bit of time because this is the first time we're booting. When it's done, it should bring us to the setup menu so we can set up Wi-Fi. Welcome to Windows 10 IoT Core. Please wait while we get things ready. So here's the setup menu for the Windows IoT Core preview. This looks the same on the Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, I'm in the United States, so I'll choose this. Next. It will give us an option to set up our Wi-Fi. I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi. I'm going to fast forward this for us. It automatically boots to the main screen of Windows IoT Core. So as you see, this looks nothing like Windows 10. I know a lot of people were excited when it was first announced, hoping that we would be able to run Windows 10 on our Raspberry Pi, but that is not the case at all. This is strictly for development. We have a command line tool here. And we also have some tutorials built in. You can get started, get introduced to Windows IoT Core. A little bit of documentation built into IoT. We also have a few projects that you can start. Hello Blinky, you can toggle an LED on your device. This is pretty cool. You can set up your LED to the GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi, click Start. So this is a built-in application to send voltage to a set of GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi 3. So connect an LED to GPIO pin 5. And that's it guys. I haven't really got into Windows IoT Core and that's because I can't really afford any robotics equipment. As soon as I can, I will definitely be using Windows IoT Core a lot more. There are tons and tons of tutorials online using Windows IoT. So that's it for now. I have a lot more Raspberry Pi videos coming. I did have a request to do this. A couple people have asked me to show them how to do this, so I figured I'd make it now. Um, if you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. That really motivates me to make more videos. Make more tutorials for the Raspberry Pi. 
Android, PC, Mac, all kinds of stuff. I have tons of stuff coming down the line. Like always, thanks for watching.